Hello and welcome back audience to my FIFA 15 Manchester City career mode and yes guys Manchester City was actually voted the top in every single possible way on the comments on YouTube Manchester City were top on the straw poll with nine votes Manchester City were top comments on Twitter Manchester City were top so I'm going to tell you quickly the order now I changed up a little bit but through the YouTube votes Manchester City was top Cardiff City was second, Liverpool were third, West Ham were fourth, followed by Stoke City, Hull City and then Nottingham Forest. On the straw poll it was Manchester City top, West Ham second, Cardiff third, Liverpool fourth, Stoke City fifth, Nottingham Forest sixth and Hull City seventh. And basically through the Twitter it was pretty even, there was probably two or three votes for most teams but in the end we were probably around 14-15 votes. Manchester City were top so the big bank of the blues is where we're going to be applying for our job now I know that although you all want me to join Manchester City we actually have to apply for the job so there's a good chance that they'll say actually no Liverpool are obviously there as well but I think they'd probably say no because they did terminate my contract so we are going to apply for the job at Manchester City and as you can see in the bottom left man uh, the manager career sorry an offered wage of 30,000 but the objective is going to be a hard one. We have to win the league tight, which means we have to win the Barclays Premier League. And if we don't, I'm pretty sure that means that we are going to be sacked, which is going to be a horrible feeling. We've got to get that first place to stay there. But, of course, in Season 3, anyway, we will be taking over a completely different team. We might be going to Spain, Italy, Germany. We could be going anywhere in the world. But at the moment, we're going to try and stay in the Premier League. So we're going to apply for the job. If it gets rejected... We'll stay at Cardiff City and we'll try our best with them. The club details in the top right is absolutely insane. I still can't believe it. They've got a massive transfer budget of £68 million. Pounds. I mean, that is insane. With a huge wage budget of £3.1 million pounds as well. The season summary, they finished season one in league position sixth. And their record was 35 wins, which is pretty good. 23 draws, which is absolutely terrible. And 13 losses. And the reason I say the draws are terrible... It's because if they were more wins than draws, they'd have done a lot better. They did finish 6th. I think as Liverpool, we were going to finish around 5th, maybe 4th. So we'd have just beat them. So we'd done pretty well as well. But we're going to apply for this job. And guys, if you do enjoy this episode at any point, make sure you spam that thumbs up. Hopefully we will be starting at Manchester City for Season 2. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and family. Comment down below. And if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe for some awesome content. And when I say awesome... I always put 110% into my videos. I'd also like to give a shout out to G-Star. G-Star's actually made me a thumbnail. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it 100%. We're still tweaking a bit. There's still a few bits I'd like to change. So for now, for this episode, I'm probably going to be using my own thumbnail. But hopefully me and G-Star can come to some arrangement. And also, guys, if you ever want to make me thumbnails for my videos, you're more than welcome. You know, for pack openings or maybe a Call of Duty one or something like that. Just let me know. And if you want to contact me and send me a thumbnail... There is a business email in my YouTube. If you go on my YouTube channel and click the about, there's a little like tab that says about. Click that and it'll show you the business email. You can send me, even if you just want to send me some messages or something like that. But I've also got an awesome video for you coming this week. It's called Why I Get Motivated. Now basically what that means is what motivates me to make what motivates me to make the best videos I can. And you guys aren't gonna believe it, but when you see the video you'll believe it then. I have a wall in front of me where my computer is and my laptop and my Xbox and my Xbox One F and I've got like a, a chimney breast which is a bit of the wall that sticks out where a chimney could go. And basically I have printed off every nice comment, every nice tweet, every nice email I've ever received off you guys. So from the likes of Travis to Hodgy to Enderbear which is Tyler to G-Star to Ricardon. To anyone that has ever left, or, or William, William leaves some nice comments. Everyone that leaves really nice comments and support me and helps me get lifted up. I print it off and I stick it on my wall. And at the moment there's probably 50, 60 nice comments. It's absolutely insane. So when I'm sitting here doing a video and I will look up and I glimpse up and I see messages of Hodgy and Tyler and Travis and all you guys. And it just makes me want to make more videos. So I'm going to show you exactly what I've done guys. And you might want to try this as well. Because having something that motivates you and want to do well and want to bring more content helps me a lot. Because I, every time I look at that wall, I just think, you guys, my audience, are absolutely insane. And I love you all, each and individually, I really do. But nevertheless, we're going to apply for this job now. 
Whether we get it, I'm not too sure. There's a good chance that we probably won't because I'm thinking we got sacked from Liverpool. If they look at that, are they going to want us there? But Right, so just quickly, we've entered season two now. We are in the Premier League and Cardiff City Board have emailed us and said the transfer budget is going to be 9.5 million with a wage budget of 45,000. You see, I like the idea of saying a Cardiff because obviously everything's going to be a little bit different to Manchester City. Here's Manchester City, you just got a load of money. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not sure if it's going to be a gameplay in this episode. I'll try and get it as a gameplay, but it all depends on how quick it comes around. So what we're going to do is we're going to advance and we're going to be straight in now to the transfer window. And this is why I want to get to Manchester City now if I can. Because... I want to bring some new talent in. I want to change the team around a bit. I want to bring... I'd probably like to bring Aguero back because Aguero's still at Manchester City. I don't know why they would have sold him. I'd like to bring Hart back and stuff like that. So, what I'm going to do now is we're going to go over to the emails. So, first we'll go right to the bottom and we'll have a look at the first email. So, the board have reviewed our chances of the domestic cup. We'd love a cup run, so we'd be delighted if you could reach the round of 16 stage. So, that's not too bad. So, we'll delete that one, delete that one. Important transfer market information. The transfer market is now open. Remember that a player's value will be varied based on their form, time remaining on their contract, how important they are to the club, and the variety of other factors that will ultimately determine the amount each player is likely to be sold for. I will add comments to each transfer negotiation sorry, when I see fit in order to give you the better idea of which and each player might be sold for or bought for. Ultimately, however, it's up to you. Okay, no problem. Thanks very much. We have a training injury. Ikram. Oh, look at that. He's out for two months. That's not good. Right, so we'll delete that one. And Manchester City is the next email. Thank you for expressing your interest in the vacant manager position of our club. We've looked into your credentials and references, but unfortunately... Oh, no. We have decided that we'll be looking at other candidates. Unbelievable. And we've received a transfer offer for Marshall. He's definitely not going to be leaving the club at any point. If I'm staying, he needs to be staying because he's absolutely insane, David Marshall. And again, we'll reject that one. So guys, it looks like we won't actually be moving to Manchester City. Now what I'm going to do is because obviously we said we'd be moving to a new club or we'd be staying at Cardiff. The second team to be voted was actually West Ham. So what I'm going to do now quickly is I don't want to be messing around with teams too much because we're right in the transfer window now and I don't want to be messing around too much so I'm going to go over to the office I'm going to see what jobs are available see if anyone is and there you go so no other jobs are available so guys it looks like do you know what I've decided I'm going to end this episode here now I do apologise there's no game but it looks like we're going to be staying at Cardiff for season 2 which shouldn't be too bad it should be a good ride it should be lots of good games, lots of bad games, hopefully we can bring some new players in, obviously with us just come up to the Premier League, that might even make players be interested in us because we're going up, but nevertheless guys, just thought we'll bring this episode right now to an end because we're in the transfer window, the second episode of this season 2 possibly as well might not have a game in it simply because we're in the transfer window, I might just whiz the whole transfer window, so even the last 10 hours just blitz through that but nevertheless, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, guys. If you have, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. Make sure you share the video with your friends and family. And most of all, make sure you comment down below and let me know what you think of the series so far. It's been your boy, brothers. Peace out.